What's going on everyone? Name's Aaron Collins and this is another rendition of me addressing worldly issues in a godly way. Um, I've got some somber news to bring um, into the world of YouTube. I was reading an article and recently a YouTuber out of New York City named Desmond Amofa, he was known to the world as Anika, I mean Atika. Uh, he was a gamer. He was recently found dead in the East River, apparently from suicide. Um, now, I never knew who Atika was. I never subscribed to him, never watched one of his videos. But one thing that um, I did find, find disturbing from the article I read and that he had a video which I actually watched was called I'm sorry and watching this video he goes into some self depreciating some hinting uh, possibly of suicidal tendencies and just basically talking about some things that he was remorseful for and it, Watching this video, it was clear to me that he was in a lot of pain. He was suffering from something. He felt really bad about something that he did. Anyway, um, this young man was 29 years old, and he's no longer with us, and it's sad. I want to send my condolences and prayers to his family, his fans, friends, subscribers, anyone that's connected to him. And I also want to, to talk about how, how mental health is very, very serious. He mentioned some things pertaining to his mental health. And this is something that needs to be listened to and talked about, particularly in the black community. I did a video, a live stream actually, about mental health in the black community and how it's not taken seriously. To how because of the societies that we live in as far as the dealing with racism and depression within our own community sorry about that that a lot of things that happen to our mental health goes unchecked because of preconceived notions that we'll be okay and that the medical industry has been really biased toward African Americans. But um, this is serious. A young man who was very much in the prime of his life, young, gifted, he looked healthy, is no longer with us. The video he made was alarming to many of his subscribers who were saying that they were concerned about his safety, his well-being. He had went missing. He went missing June 19th, 2019, apparently. And he was missing for days. NYPD found him and made the, the harrowing discovery and the sad, tragic news that he was deceased. Once again, mental health is something that does need to be taken seriously among us. We need to stop ridiculing each other. We need to stop making fun of one another, calling each other crazy and calling each other saying, oh, this person is thrown off. A lot of times, the things that we say, we may be saying it in a joking manner. We may be saying it in a matter of playing with each other because a lot of times that's how we, we deal with our issues as black people. We deal with our issues in a humorous sort of way. I understand that. But at the same time, we do need to look into that. This young man was crying for help, and it said no one, he wasn't able to receive the help that he needed. Coming um, as someone who's dealt with depression myself, I can understand what he was going through. Like I said, I've never known this young man up until I read the sad news about him, 
and I wanted to look more into it, read up about him, read out, read about who he was, what he did. He was a gamer. From some of the clips of videos he's done, he seemed like he loved life, like he wanted to have fun. He was w well known and well liked. But see, we never know what goes on in people's minds. On the surface, people may look fine, they may look okay, but all that is is just a pretty shell. We don't know what they're dealing with mentally or what's on, going on in their heart. While we can make our, our conclusions and make our assumptions about what's going on, we really don't know. Only God himself knows. Imagine if he could have been reached with the gospel or with, with some kind of message. Somebody could have reached out to him in love and talked to him. If somebody could have just told him that um, whatever he was thinking about was the way to go. Because quoting, I'm misquoting, I'm, I'm paraphrasing what he said, but he was saying something to the effect that he hasn't felt suicidal, but he's done too much. Once again, I'm paraphrasing what he said, but I understand the meaning and the gist of what he was talking about. Basically, is he was really filled with a lot of self-condemnation about something that he might have done in the past, about some people he has wronged. And as someone who has um, constantly condemned myself, I beat myself up about things before myself, so I know what this young brother was going through. I say, I'll say it again for the third time. I never watched any of his videos or his content. I only found out about who he was through reading the article about him and watching the I'm Sorry video. This video is um, very serious. It's sad, depressing. It's a, it's a story about a young man who was clearly reaching out. And I just want to put this disclaimer out there that I'm not any kind of medical professional. I'm not a doctor. Once again, I'm, on, I'm just somebody who is compassionate, who is concerned and cares. Somebody who wants people to get the help that they need. So with that saying, I just want to put this out there. I'm going to say this number, and I'm also going to put it in the description. Uh, but the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 800-273-8255. You could also text the, the help line, the help number at 741-741. Once again, the number is 800-273-8255 or text 741-741. Everyone, this is serious. We need to take our mental health very seriously. A lot of times we can get in the gym all day and lift all kinds of weights and work on this exterior appearance. And there's nothing wrong looking good because um, I'm going to eventually get into the gym too and work out. But what happens when you take care of your outside and don't deal with the inside? You see, this is the, the issue. I say it once again, people have pretty packages. People look like they got it all together. They got all the money in the world they could want. They have um, all the material things that they want. But inside, they are just tore up. They are destroyed. They have no clue or no idea. They try to fill their, the voids in their life with drugs and booze and sex and everything else and still never get satisfied. I don't know what were the things that led to Atika in his final days, what caused this tragedy. But um, my, my um, message to his followers is that I'm praying for you. My condolences are to you, um, to his family. It is sad. And I'm praying that you, while you all are grieving, that you could come to be healed in your heart. And... For those that are out there speculating and being dismissive and making comments about this, what if it was you? What if, if you had somebody, a loved one, that was dealing with these issues 
What if you yourself was dealing with these issues? Would you want people to laugh at you? I don't think you would. Once again, if you know someone, if you or if you know someone that is dealing with issues like this, I'll say it again, and I'm going to put it in the description, that the, the National Suicide Hotline, I mean, Lifeline is 800-273-8255 or text help at 741-741. We need to get these issues worked out, everyone. For so long that there's been this stigma in the black community that we don't commit suicide, that we don't do stuff like that. It was always told that it's a white thing. Well, apparently it is not just a white thing. Because many of us are doing it now as well. So, I just want to put this out there to everyone. Once again, RIP to Desmond, Atika, Omofa. My heart, my fam, I mean, my, my heart, prayers, and condolences. Walk to those who loved him, to his loved ones, and everyone else that was connected to him. And let's just deal with this. Let's deal with this together. Not with speculations, not with conjecture, but with real, with real solutions and real love. Because this is serious. I just wanted to put that out there. I'm not going to say the stuff that I usually say because it's not called for, but you know what to do. Anyway, think about this, everyone. I will say this, though, that God loves you. I love you. Let's do life.